Well, I'm Jana Reed with KeithTrim.com, and I'm here with Arch Jordan Grabowski. And I'm here today, today to talk to you about your passion. I believe that you are a race car driver, and that there's been a lot of talk about about you lately. And I just like to come and sit and talk to you, and just kind of talk about you for a little bit. Where are you married? No, not married. Do you have any kids? Not that I know of. <laughs> And, and where do you work? Uh, Twin Rivers. And do you live around here in Beatrice? Live in Beatrice, yep. And what all got you started in racing? We, I used to go with my dad to the races back when I was a little kid. And I uh, always kind of just fell in love for it. And when I was uh, 11 years old, my Uncle Mike from Denver, Colorado, which he was a racer, um, bought me a mini sprint and kind of got me going and said here you go so and then all of a sudden I'm 22 now and I've been racing since I was 11 it's been, been a good I'd say a, a fun 11 years for me I, I've had a lot of fun and met a lot of great people is there what um, class of racing did you first start in um, I, re I started in actually it was called a mini sprints and it was the 600 restricted class so it was a 600 cc engine like out of a out of a crotch rocket motorcycle and they put restrictors in them so they wouldn't go as fast you know and then then you moved up from you got to take the restrictors out of it and then at the end of it then you know you could run an open motor and it just keeps getting faster and faster and faster and then when i was 16 i got a modified so and then um so what kind of series was that that you ran in was uh, there if i ran in the kansas nebraska jay husker series uh, for, I want to say I ran there three years or so, something like that. Um, and then in the last couple of years in the mini sprint, I kind of ventured off and ran other places. You know, I, I still ran some races with them, but um, kind of traveled around a little more and went to a lot of different races. Did you have um, any wins with them, with the Jay Huskers, or um, any track champions or points champions or anything with them? Yep, I won the track championship or the point series, um, I think in 2002 and 2003, I'm pretty sure. It was either 01 or 02 or 02, 03, <laughs> something like that. So, um, and that was, uh, that was my highlight of, of that. And after we did that, we're, we uh, kind of wanted to travel around and, and race a couple different places and see, you know, just go different. I think we went to Sweet Springs, Missouri, uh, Belleville, Illinois. We kind of traveled around with the mini sprint, and then, um, then I, that was when I was 15. Then when I was 16, got a modified and started from there. So then, is that why you moved up? Is when you turned 16 then? Then, I, then I was old enough to drive a modified. So, so you have to be 16 to drive a modified. Yep, yep. Back then, now you can drive a sport mod when you're 14, but when I was when I was that young, you couldn't. They didn't have that rule yet. So I had to wait till I was 16. When I was 16, that's always what I wanted to do. So I jumped into modified. And then, so ever since you've been 16 until now, and you're currently in a, in a modified. Currently in a modified, yep. So I've ra raced since I was 16. That was, uh, that was a tough move, going from a mini sprint to a modified. You know, I thought it'd be a lot easier, and it wasn't. And it wasn't. So I, uh, I was joking around. I, I didn't even make the first lap. I spun out before I even took the green flag. So, um, but no, I've had a lot of fun with it in a modified. It's a lot more... I'm not, I'm not saying a, a mini sprint isn't hard, but it's a lot more of a challenge. There's a lot more, um, a lot more competition, a lot more cars, a lot of bigger, right, more prestigious races you can go to. Um, it, it's been fun. We've had a lot of good luck. What's you know? your most memorable moment? And first, the J Husker series. Is there any kind of memorable moment being worse or? Um, I would say the memorable moment would be. Uh, I don't know, that's tough. That's a lot of years ago already. Um, I'd say when I won the point championships there, that, that was pretty cool. That, that meant a lot to me. I'd never won it. Especially but, being back to back. Yeah, I won the first one, thought that was really cool, and then I won the second one, that was really cool. So I would say that's what I remember the most about it. Um, but, you know, that's the mini sprint racing is a lot more laid back. A lot of people get along, you know, this modified deal. Everybody's out to get everybody. Right. And it's a lot more politics and a lot more. We, we thought we had it bad when we raced the mini sprint. Now all of a sudden, <laughs> it's, uh, it gets worse. But 
Um, those, those were the fun, the good old days when you went to the racetrack and had a lot of fun. So. Right. So what's your memorable one now? I would say the, the biggest win of my career is when I won down at Lakeside this last year. At the end of last October, I think it was, or September or October, one of the two. Um, just the most people, the most, you know, and then I came to the Spring Nationals, won the Spring Nationals, both nights of that. That's that's pretty memorable moments. So, yes. Uh, I've, uh, that's, those wins probably mean the most to me than, of any. What makes you, when you get out on that track, how do you prepare yourself to to race? Um, I've been to a lot of races and I've seen your race <laughs> and it's just unbelievable how you how you race and and you know it just seems like you I just don't know how you do it and so kind of you know how how do you get your mindset and your and your the frame of mind? That's t that's tough to uh, I don't know if you get yourself in a frame of mind for when you. You know, you pull out on the racetrack, and then all of a sudden, it, it's uh, it's more like a more like a job than a right. You know, like you, you know what you need to do, and you know you know you gotta think through the steps of what you need to do, and to keep yourself out of trouble, and, and then not use your stuff up too early. And it's just there's so many variables, I mean, you can't control. And I guess that's what gets me in racing is that's uh, the uh, you, you can. There's, there's so many things, so many variables that you can't control. That's why I like racing. It's, it's, you don't know what's going to happen. You right. Know, you know, that, that kind of keeps you on, keeps you on, you know, you can leave 19 laps of the race and uh, on the last lap give it away, you know, and, and then that, that whole race, that whole 19 laps you led doesn't mean anything. You know, so there, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of variables and a lot of, uh, so, that, so to say, uh, how do you prepare yourself? I would say that you more or less you prepare yourself during the week when you work on your race car of what you need to do and the things you need to do and, and how to make your race car. I mean, the driver's only as good as his race car and his race car's only as good as the driver. You know, I've always been told that. So you have to uh, have to have that hand in hand. You have to have you know a good race car. The driver has to have a good race car, and uh, um, good the driver has to have a good you know vice versa. So a lot of that. Uh, a lot of that, it, you know, you prepare yourself during the week. What's your, um, do you go to a lot of different tracks? Yeah, we were currently, like tonight, we're racing Columbus on Thursday night, week, weekly show. Um, and then Friday it'll be Beatrice, and then Saturday we go to Mayetta. But we've been racing around like the Harris Clash those last weekend. You know, that was on a Tuesday night. We kind of hit and miss and go race around a lot of different places. So. Didn't you go to Vegas too? Yeah, I went to Las Vegas last November. Um, that we go everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. You know, if it's a good paying show, we'll go to we'll go to Hayes, Kansas in the fall. That pays about five thousand. Um, so, you know, a lot of big paying races. It's worth it's worth the traveling distance, stuff like that to go to. And then you're currently seventh, I believe, or ninth in national points. I don't remember, I think it was ninth. Is it seventh or ninth in national points? And you probably don't keep track of that during the year, but like, oh, you, you keep a close eye on it. You can't really look at the national points yet for another about 30 days, I would say. Um, and then you can start looking at it and, and finding out where you're, where you're, where you're at. Because a lot of the guys in Texas have already raced 50 nights, and you know. So it's a uh, you can't you need to wait about another 30 days to look at it, and then the guy can kind of compare himself to where he needs to be. And then I'm going to have you. Is there any sponsors that you'd like to thank and people that you'd like to thank? There is, but I don't want to. I don't want to start because I'll never stop. I got a whole list of biggest people I want to thank is uh, Twin Rivers. Um, they make it possible for me to race, and um, Ben and Melissa Novotny for for giving me a race car and uh, let me drive for them. That uh, mean a lot to me, and, the, and they're the owners.